Well, good morning people. I have to say we got after it a bit last night, Carl and I. So this morning I'm feeling slightly rough and inexplicably my jar of coffee completely and disappeared off the face of the earth for at least 15 minutes. So after a frantic search of 15 minutes, I eventually located it. And hopefully this large cup of pull around juice will sort me out and we'll be able to go and enjoy Traque. So yes, we're gonna pull ourselves together for you, good people. So anyone who wants to know what fishing at Traque is like on the upper tweet, well, we're gonna find out today. Unfortunately, it didn't rain last night. I knew it wasn't gonna rain, but I might have I might have had my fingers crossed slightly that it would have had a good downpour. But no, no, we're gonna be fishing low water, so probably gonna be a waste of time. But you know what? Fishing's never really a waste of time. At least we'll get a good day out. And then tomorrow we can go back home and hopefully the river coconut hasn't dropped off too much and we can fish that. Cheers. Okay, so here we begin. I've just been shown the water by the gilly. She's a nice guy. I didn't catch his name. I'll get it later. Oh, put the dog. Oh. Right. Had a quick um, diversion while I wrapped the line around Carla there. So that took a little bit of undoing. So the gilly showed me around. Seems like a nice guy, but unfortunately I didn't catch his name. I'll get it later. But he seems to be one of those gillies. He's got nine rods to look after. So he ain't going to be hanging around, which is fine with me. I've already seen three fish move, which is very encouraging. And one has just come out just a little bit further down here. So there's a burn coming in just below me on the left hand side. And obviously the fish are going to be lying underneath that. So I thought I'd just come right to the very top of the water and just get myself loosened up before we try and cast out to any actual fish. maybe slightly overdressed. It was raining when we arrived and I got a bit carried away and stuck my uh, wading jacket over the top of my duck down jacket and I'm already starting to feel the warmth. Come on fishy fishies. It'd be rather nice to have a salmon. The first fish that I saw come out was as brown as a bar of chocolate. But then, to be fair, they've obviously had quite a journey to get up here. But apparently the gilly was saying they had a springer in March, which is completely unheard of up here. So that would have come as a surprise, I bet. Come on, fishy, fishy. It's getting close to where that fish showed itself. It was just maybe 10, 10 yards further down. Come on. Let's have a fishy first thing. It definitely feels a lot, well the river is a lot wider here than it was yesterday. I was a bit worried to be honest yesterday, I was pretty much going to sag it off and go home. Because the water I fished yesterday was so thin. Pretty much where I want to be.
there's another fish there. That was white silver, but it did have a very red belly. Definitely a salmon. So that's four fish I've seen now. Fishies. I'm so surprised by how many fish I've seen shown. I've seen like a dozen fish shown in the time that I've been here or more. And I'm not kidding, that is more than I've seen in months. I think it's going to be one of those days though where it might be pretty difficult to hoot. We'll probably have our best chance going into dark, I should imagine. 
but it's definitely encouraging to see so many fish around. Some of the fish I've seen so far are sea trout, but of a much smaller kind that I'm used to seeing, like sea trout of a pound and a half. There's a couple of those come out, both very, very, very dark. I must admit, I wasn't delighted to see the um, the family of river explorers. Now, I think it's wonderful that people spend time with their kids by the river. Excellent. But not right downstream of a fisherman. And you don't let little kids throw stones in the water. Here we are in here. We're in here. Well, not into something very big. I think it's just a, probably just a trout, judging by the size of it, or one of those small sea trout I was talking about. Nice enough trout. Okay, so we've moved down a bit, and the reason I'm testing this bit out is that little disturbance there has obviously got a fish in it because it showed itself about three times. And now it's a bit further up the river, so might as well just have a cast over it. It's a very shallow place to be lying though for a salmon. That jumped so close to my fly, it might have accidentally just taken it in its mouth as it went up. Well, then I'm Okay, so we have stopped for lunch, although we didn't really have any lunch. There's not probably going to be time today, the days are short and I don't want to mess around. So all I did, I changed my line over. I wasn't getting away with that floating line at all. I don't think it was heavy enough to actually flex the rod. On here. So we've gone back to the intermediate line, apparently there's enough water in here that it should be okay, it shouldn't hang up on the bottom too much. Uh, there were 
four fish caught in the middle beat. I'm on the lower beat, I think. So there's obviously fish being caught by someone, so well done. I'm amazed by how many fish I've seen. But yet to have a touch. I knew that with that floating head I wasn't going to get the distance. Apparently we've got to cast right to the far bank here. I think I may need a lighter fly. No, how about you guys? No, I've seen bloody fish after fish. The other two guys are the same as me. They're just seeing fish after fish after fish, but nobody's had a touch. So again, I'm just hopeful that as it starts to get dark, then they might come on the take. But Christ, I've seen some fish today. Like I've seen as many fish today as I've seen all season. Right, to business, we've got to catch a fish. That's what we're here for. Right, so as you can see, the sun is dipping behind the hills there, so we're not going to have very long left. This, so far, is a very bloody frustrating day. I'm pleased I didn't sack it off because I've quite enjoyed the fishing. Um, although it's just been like, it's been a bizarre day. I've seen so many fish moving, splashing, rolling, head and tail in, all sorts, and I haven't had a touch. It's been really, really strange. So yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to keep firing away. There's one more stretch to do, and I'm going to do that as it goes into darkness. So this is sort of the last chance saloon. But yeah, let's hope the old darkness trick works. Because nothing else has worked today. It's been a very frustrating day. I think that's the thing with salmon fishing. There's definitely more questions than answers. Come on, God, answer the telephone. I rang all day.
Come on, fish, take pity on me, man. Fish done the fingers bled once he did. Well that's me done, back in the van, I've really tried my best today and I've I've seen more fish than I've seen all year, it's been amazing. I've sort of enjoyed my day, it's been a nice place to fish, nice part of the world, nice surroundings. It's been obviously a bit frustrating with us, um, with all the showing salmon and non-taking salmon, but you know that happens, that's salmon fishing. I kind of thought it might be on the cards today, when I was seeing so many this morning I did have that horrible feeling that it might be one of those days where you just like see them all and don't catch. There have been fish caught on the other beat, um, I think that's maybe been about six fish caught, so what those anglers were doing differently to me I don't know, but anyway, like I say, I've tried my best. I've had a nice couple of days up on the Tweed, fishing hasn't been the best like any fisherman i want to be on the river when the water has the right height but you know what it is when you're booking stuff in advance you can't always guarantee that could have done with a bit more water in here it might have spiced these fish up a bit who knows or it might just be that well, i don't know actually i'm not even going to suppose because there's so many and there's so many things that it could have been but yeah frustrating day on the fishing terms for the last week of the season at home up until the 31st i've taken the week off work so i'm going to be fishing every day in my usual haunts hopefully i can get another fish or two scratch one out before the end of the year but if not i've done all right could be worse all right thanks for coming with me on this adventure again and we'll see you in the next video cheers <laughs>